All right, everyone. So right now, I'm gonna be working on this door handle here. It's been jammed open. So it doesn't work. So I'm gonna pull this apart, see what's going on with it, and at the very least, replace this one with the one in the back door. It's over there. But if I can get this to work, that'd be a better idea. I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera up here. Hold on a second. Alright, so we'll start by just taking off this plate here. I just got this little screwdriver here. I didn't think I would need much in the way of tools, so let's see what we can figure out with what I have. It's really just to have a look. Interesting. So, see if I can get this thing in here. But there's a rock jammed in right there. So, I'm guessing apparently this thing broke or is no longer working. So, somebody jammed a rock in there. Let's just see what we can figure out. Put this back on. You just hold it in there. Well, seems to work fine. Yeah, put it back together, see what it does. Hope we got everything in the picture here. We don't have what they have, what they call a selfie screen, so. Everything is just a, a best guess. Let's get that one in loosely. So I'll tighten this up too. Oh, it goes already tight. Rusty there. Okay. Inside and the outside handle work. Let's All right, so uh, I guess that's going to remain a mystery. Okay, well, that's that. Case closed. All right, so now that the door's done, uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take out this brow board. And at least so I can see the serial number. It looks like something that's going to be pretty simple. Well, at least for that cover. 
move some stuff around on the table. Set up the angle. Such as just two screws here. Like there should have been a, another pin there. Well, maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's not. That has definitely not been recalled. The date on it is February of 1982. So, there's that. That's simple enough. And we'll probably go around back or the other side of the fridge and go ahead and take out the other board. Alright, so we'll be right back. Alright, so we're at the back of the fridge. And I've already pulled or unplugged it and, and most of it. But this one on these particular fridges, you can see kind of lay out there. But that's where the board is. Already unplugged everything. All except for this side plug here. And the plug that's on the top. Looks like I'm going to need two hands for this so I'm really not liking this tripod that I have. I just let the camera go. It fell in the dirt. Alright, so I'm just gonna set you there. There we go. seeing this it must have been hiding somewhere in there this little, uh, little wiring diagram it even has the model numbers down here at the bottom right, so I'll set that off to the side in here so. that big plug off. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second. Here, the problem is. Okay. To break it I'm sure if it's broken. We will honor the recall. Hopefully I'm not just doing all this for a waste of time. I don't have to have somebody professional pull it in, put it in. Disconnect the last thing I need to do is 
disconnect the thermal couple, the thermistor. It's basically just a sensor that tells the board that the flame is on, the burner is on. There we have it. It's a board that needs to be replaced. I'm hoping anyways. I'm hoping that fixes it. Alright, so it's Saturday. So I won't be able to give them a call today. Kind of doubt that their service department's open on Saturday. But give them a call Monday. Maybe bring these into work. Maybe stop in afterwards if they have one on hand. Alright, keep you updated on that.